okay, remember that they're changing my voice. Now, when we see people talk about the gospel, right? The good news. Is it the go spell telling the righteous person to leave? Isaiah 57, the righteous are taken away. Is it the church's job to make sure that I get screened out? Or is it their job, their stated job? If they're truly following God to spread the good news and to obey God through me. One of the most important scriptures in the Bible for those of you who want to pretend, you want to take that snake in the garden route. You say, we are gods. Ye, ye shall be like gods. You don't want to admit Luke 6, 46. Because you're lukewarm and you're 666 instead of consistent with Luke 646. Where it says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? Or in John, where it says, if you love me, obey my commands. And the one who obeys my commands is the one who loves me. The one who doesn't obey my commands is the one who doesn't love me. And those who disown me before man will be disowned before God. So as we see this thing proceed, what is the key part of my story? What is the key takeaway? That as I'm progressing through life and the running sops, I mean, Montessori school, country school, garden school, right? To varying degrees, right? As they're kind of trying to make sure that I don't gain popularity. It didn't matter if I was a basketball star. Didn't matter if I was handsome, driving a nice car, you know, nice clothes, coolest shoes. Didn't matter. Things that translate into respect for other people in their shallow culture didn't translate into respect for me. You know, they're trying to get me to settle. They thought it was, hey, let's try to make it seem normal if he settles. Okay, so chicks, you know, nice ladies who were overweight, who I'm not attracted to, and they probably weren't that attracted to me. They were trying to get me to date so they could feel better. They're willing to take from the whole world. They're willing to deny God's son romantic justice. They're willing to make me feel like crap, you know, and they're willing to make that female feel like crap because if somebody's not really into you, you're going to notice it. Okay? It's not good for me to settle for me or the person. But they still insist on that. It's another huge part of my story. And I can start naming the names of these females, but I'm sure you understand that that happened. There's no reason for me to make that up. Okay? I'm not going to have video after video talking about how I'm shunned for years and years and years and be married or something. Or have a gorgeous girlfriend. Okay? Now, I'm not going to say rally to me, which is going to cause you to see my situation if you were to do it. And to be lying about these things, how am I going to lie for? I mean, it's not in my best interest to lie at all. It's a key part of my story is part of how I derive my sense of greatness is by telling the truth. Okay? I'm not concerned with money. I'm not concerned with fame. I'm concerned with doing God's will. And that means that I have to try to become a, a, a solid leader in society. To make sure the homeless people get housed and the hungry get fed, then that's what I'm going to do. If I had to take vows of poverty and live on camera all day, every day, that's what I'm going to do. And one of my first orders of business, which is a key part of my story as well, because they're not just rejecting me, they're rejecting that moral committee. People handpicked by me for their extremely obvious and irrefutable decency and dignity. The people who are the closest thing to righteous, who may or may not be inside the divine order, that I can find. People who are chosen by their ability to be insightful and to make the moral decision. And not necessarily their years of experience or background in, in a certain topic. And I can show you definitively that that's superior. A lot of these calls that Trump and Biden make and Obama and Bush and da-da-da, they don't require some fancy Ivy League school degree. They don't require Harvard or Yale. People who mean well from the poor neighborhoods could have done a better job than Obama or Biden or Nixon or Bush, you name it. Trump, you name it. Just by insisting on being righteous and putting moral people around them. For them, victory would be won by having many moral advisors. I can find, you know, people who are experts and I can read them. I can look into them with my insight and say, is this person trying to do me dirty? I can listen to the advisors and their opinions on each other and make a sound call. But are they going to give me my rightful place? Almost certainly not. I'd be shocked. I'd be, I'd be just like, wow, how did that happen? 
probably more likely that I'm struck by lightning every moment of every day for the rest of my life than for them to give me my rightful place and center view for all to see to, to make a change in this public, uh, this country. Because they hate you so much and they hate their kids so much that they'll deny Jesus' his rightful place. They'll deny you that healing. They'll deny you being that nation that's led by the Son of God. That's how much they hate America. That's how much they hate their family. That's how much they hate you. Think they're serving and protecting you? They're protecting the, the lowest forms of life who would insist on suppressing the truth about the Son of God and His existence and His presence. That's pure evil hatred. That's pure essence of Antichrist, evil. And that kind of evil doesn't create a valid marriage. Conformity and complicity with that doesn't allow for that. So no matter what happened, I could run around the freeway naked, you know, juggling thongs, and it wouldn't be and embarrass me because they run a psyop on me. But the, the kindest act of those who refuse to rally to Christ is an utter embarrassment. Their existence is embarrassing. Their thinking is embarrassing. And they're embarrassing themselves and their families. And their families, if they have any sense, would be utterly embarrassed to be related to them whether they this thing is suppressed or not. Because you see that kind of cowardice in them. You see that refusal to man up. I mean, if everybody is, is eating babies every time and having sex with children, you know, all day, every day, it doesn't mean you have to. So even if there's 10 zillion people on the planet and they're all doing it, if your parents are doing it too, you should be embarrassed. And so it is with shunning Christ. What kind of low forms of life say, well, but everybody's doing it. Okay, that's sissy. That's not being a man. And if you're a female, that's not being a woman. So as I progress through life, all those lonely times driving to Santa Cruz by myself, settling for the female I was dating there, would eventually stab me in the back, another proof that settling is wrong. As I dated four females from Santa Cruz, where I'm looking for other races first and foremost, perhaps, okay, though I'm not racist, you know, you know shout out to black women, what have you, I end up dating all the four females I drove an hour away to the hippie place to date, we're all either black or mixed with black. Black and Mongolian, black and Filipino, uh, black and Hispanic, and, and just African American with some traces of white or something. Every single last one of them. Another female I date, not only if she was black, she was African, and I wasn't looking for Africans. She fell into my lap because everyone else was shunning me and I was scrambling to find true love. Unbelievable. That's how racist the society is. They don't care if you are Jesus Christ. If you're a black man, okay, they tell you to buzz off unless you're sucking a token minority. Worm. You know what? Pathetic. That's how little they respect God. Does God have to announce, this is my son? Or when the most righteous person that ever lives walks your streets, are you supposed to recognize that? Are you supposed to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven? Or does God need to slap you across the face and say, here I am? I mean, come on, is that the best you people can do? Anyway, so uh, yeah, another neighbor's walking by. I had to drive by the gate to make this video. And, uh, you know, yeah. Um, so I mean, like, I don't know if you don't see, see, immediately I calm down when somebody comes out, like I'm angry, and then I go, oh, on the rampage, and so on and so forth. So yeah, uh, We'll just, we'll just leave it there.